Morning at RT, and there have been fresh Israeli airstrikes on Gaza aimed at the Islamic University. Palestinian authorities say in the last 48 hours nearly 300 people have been killed and over 600 injured in the bombing. Israel says it's attacking Hamas military targets. A mosque, a school and a TV station came under fire on Sunday. Hospitals in Gaza are packed with injured and there's a shortage of medicine. Dozens are trying to flee to Egypt. Hundreds of rockets have been fired from both sides of the Israel-Gaza border. In Jerusalem, meantime, the Israeli cabinet has approved the call-up of 6,500 reservists to beef up truth num troop numbers for a possible ground offensive. Artis Paula Sleer has the latest this morning. This is the latest entertainment in southern Israel. Take your binoculars and climb a mountain, then watch what the neighbors are doing. When the winds of war start blowing, every Israeli thinks he's an intelligence officer, even if his reports are just to friends. Look, look, there are two terrorists there. Look at them. They're going behind the building. Some of them are waiting for Qassam rockets. Some of them are waiting for something else. Sagi and his friends live in Ashkelon, which in the last eight days has become another Israeli city on the front line. If everything here is going to be fire, it's going to be okay for me. Why? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because like, I can see my friends, my family, the kids, the wife, all the, all the ladies in the road, how they're afraid. We suffer like eight years. I don't care if they suffer like uh, one day. I didn't come to watch the Qassam. I come to the airplane and the chopper, what they do to them. There, I see the Qassam over there in Israel all, all the time. I see that in the road. I don't like to see the Qassam. I like to see the other side. Israeli aircraft and helicopters hit more than a hundred Hamas targets, among them a police compound where a graduation ceremony was taking place. Terrified mothers rushed into the streets to see if their children were alive as the attack came just as schools were closing. Unable to cope, doctors in overcrowded hospitals treated the wounded and dying on floors, while Hamas threatened deadly revenge. We will not compromise or back down on our religion or cause. If you kill thousands of us, you will not be able to kill our spirit, our honor, our dignity, our resistance, our loyalty to our martyrs, nor our loyalty to this noble quest. Israel says its offensive will continue for as long as necessary. During a press conference in Tel Aviv, Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert appealed to the Palestinians. The citizens of Gaza are not our enemies. Hamas, Jihad, and the other terrorist organizations are your enemies as they are our enemies. They brought disaster on you, and they try to bring disaster to the people of Israel. The strike comes eight days after a six-month ceasefire between Israel and Hamas expired. Both sides accuse the other of not adhering to their commitments. There's no talk of another truce for the moment. Efforts were made to fix this truce and direct talks were made with Mr. Ormut. We wish the truce could be implemented fully, though we are not party to the negotiations. We care about this truce because we care about easing the suffering and agonies of our people. But Israeli analysts say the situation was a ticking bomb waiting to explode. There is a war uh, between Israel and Gaza State. Uh, it's the war be be between Israel Defense Forces and uh, the army of the Gaza State. And opposite to what was going on in the Second Lebanon War, uh, Israel now is trying to abolish the regime of uh, the hostile state. And, uh, uh, but naturally, uh, but in fact, uh, to my mind, Israeli establishment is not interested to recapture our Gaza. Israel is bringing its tanks to the border, which does seem to suggest that the next step of its operation is underway a ground operation. Paul is here, RT, on the Israel-Gaza border. Protests against Israel's attack on Gaza have been held across Europe and the Middle East. Over a thousand people marched in Paris. In London, protesters clashed with police near the Israeli embassy. And hundreds have been marching and chanting anti-Israel slogans in major Middle East cities. In Gaza itself, Egypt, Iran and Turkey have been sending medicine and food aid. And the United Nations has called on the Israelis and Palestinians to stop the bloodshed.